and we're back. We're on chapter 2, part 11. Christine! Christine, answer me! She has evacuated already? Wow, what are you doing here? Come out at once! It's so dangerous! But Philip... Good day, Mr. Commissioner. Uh, Viscount D. Jagny, good morning. What brings you here instead of the investigation? Do you know if everyone made it out safe from yesterday's accident? I think most people managed to evacuate. I was the first one to lead them out on the check. Did all the singers and dancers get out? I want to confirm right away if Christine is safe and sound. Uh, well, I did see Miss Dyer. Anyway, Viscount D. Jenny, do you recall that I received a threatening letter? The threat turned out to be very real indeed. I burned my arm in the general accident yesterday. Did the Phantom's warning truly predict the future? Anyway, it looks like the Opera House is closed today. Closed? Why don't you ask them in the entrance? I was thrown out myself. Excuse me, is it true the Opera House is closed today? Of course, we're to deal with the accident from yesterday. Did you happen to see the headline in today's law, Epo? I didn't have the time to read the paper this morning because I rushed out to find Christine. Well, this is what it said. Giant chandelier fell on the housekeeper's head. It fell on someone's head? Yes, there was one lady who was sitting right under the chandelier. She was killed when it fell... She wasn't the only one sitting under that chandelier, okay? That whole group of people was fucking under that chandelier. The many other people were injured as well. Heavens. Oh, injured, not killed. Christine died. I mean, are the singers unharmed? Hmm, as far as I know, everyone who was on stage is safe. Except for Miss Alonzo. Wait, Miss Alonzo was at the very front of the stage? Doesn't that mean other singers could have also been harmed? Well, there she is. Why don't you ask her yourself? Excuse me, Miss Alonzo? It wasn't me. She appears to be in a terrible state. What truly terrible... I mean, what was truly terrible... What Miss Alonzo croaked voice... That voice, that toad-like croaking sound, that wasn't from me. That didn't come from my throat. So the fan was telling the truth when he said a misfortune graver than dead would fall upon her? Have you come to demand compensation for the opera house? I wasn't expecting such a horrible accident to occur during the show last night. I came to watch an opera, not a chandelier fall from the ceiling. Since I was a present during the performance, I demand that I'm rightly compensated for the damages I suffered. Why didn't you say so? Here, I'll let you slip in. Don't tell anyone I'll let you in, though. Thank you. I'd better hurry inside, then. If I told the truth I was simping for Christine, they wouldn't let me in.
Oh, come on. Oh, there's Mr. Richard. Perhaps I can ask him. Hello, I was wondering... Um, are you both alright? Oh dear, I'm terribly sorry. The two gentlemen have not been themselves since the accident. Phantom! Phantom! It was the Phantom! Phantom? Did they see the Phantom yesterday? Who knows, I'm not sure what happened, but they've been like this since last night. Get the Phantom! There he goes! Is it him? Is it him? Don't lose him, Richard! Help, Phantom! What about Christine? Did she evacuate safely? I must make sure Christine is safe. Christine? Miss Di is on leave. She seemed to be quite a shock from the accident. How long will she be gone? She asked for an indefinite leave, claiming poor health. Indefinite leave? Heavens, is she ill? How would we know? She disappeared after leaving a letter saying she's taking a leave. You shouldn't have taken her to the Opera House doctor before it was too late. Miss Di never mentioned anything, so there was nothing we could do. At least, it's unlikely they would fire her for taking indefinite leave so suddenly. Oh, what a relief indeed. You're so very gracious, really. Well, when both of them are like that, I don't think they can even look after themselves, let alone terminate Miss Di's contract. Understood. Where on earth could Christine be? Should I pay a visit to Christine's dressing room? Why is the door open? Christine? Christine, answer me if you're there! Hello, excuse me. I'm Viscount Raoul D. Chagney. I saw you with Christine the other day. Nice to meet you, Viscount. I am Meg Jerry, uh, Christine's friend. Is there something you'd like to ask me? Would you happen to know where she is right now? Christine is on leave right now. I'm aware of that. Did you have a word with Christine yesterday by any chance? Yes, it was on my way to check on her in the dressing room. Then she asked me to pass on a letter to the managers. She says she was going to take indefinite leave. D do you know any more details, like why she asked to go on leave, or if she said anything else? Um, nothing in particular. Then why did she ask you to deliver the letter? I'm sorry, I have no idea either. Perhaps she found it difficult to see the managers herself. And if she really is only, she's probably resting at home. That would be a relief if that's the case. Understood. Thanks for letting me know. I better check Christine's home. It's been three years since I last saw the madam. <coughs> Had a cough. <laughs> 